Good morning, everybody. I'm Crazy Q, and welcome back to Greedfall. Now, this episode's gonna be a little bit short. It's my birthday today, so if you're seeing this, it's my birthday today. <laughs> so I want to keep it nice and short, um, just because I have a bazillion things to do today, as one can imagine one does on one's birthday. Um, and then I'm also going home because it's reading week at university. So, um, I won't be here to record videos for a little while so i have been recording a bunch so that they will become they're already on the channel but they will become available to you while i'm not here which is kind of a cool thing i enjoy that and i don't have to be like well i'm going away you don't get anything so there you go an update quick on the situation but anyways i want to play a little bit of greedfall just so there would be a bit of greedfall for you because I haven't played it in a little while and I've missed it so this one will be a little bit shorter but we will hopefully get something done so let's get to it I really like this place it's super fancy wow that guy's like really into his job look at all the dust on the walls okie doke let's go find our cousin I think he's our cousin you have discovered new serene, yeah. Look at that detail on it. Like, look at this walls. They're really dark and imposing, but look at that detail. Like, look at this rug. Yeah, look at that rug. There you are, dear cousin. What is this? Who is this amazing person in your company? I am Siora, <laughs> uh, daughter of Vladnid, daughter of Mel. Laugh. My mother is the Mal. The chief of our clan. I am honored to make your acquaintance, Siora. <gasps> this is incredible. You look so much alike, you could be related. If you would allow me, princess, I would like to confer a mission to my cousin. You need to visit the governors of the bridge and Teleme to give them my formal regards, uh, we that look sort like of thing, but also to discover okay. what they've managed to learn. They've been here much longer than we have. Perhaps they've made some inroads to finding a cure for the Malachor. Forgive me, Mal, but I have a request for you. My people needs your help. I thought we might discuss matters together at leisure, but please, speak your piece. The Lions, the Bridge Alliance and my people are at war. My <laughs> mother has sent me to you in search of allies. I fear that without your help, our clan will suffer great horrors. We have already lost so many souls. Hmm. This seems a sensible request. You know, though, we cannot go to war with our neighbors. Perhaps there is a way to negotiate a ceasefire, the time to see things more clearly. Excellent idea. I would be completely lost without you. Go and parley with, um, the queen, dear cousin. Try and put an end to confrontations for the time being. <laughs> I will come with you. It will take more than one person to convince my mother to lay down our weapons. I was kind of hoping you'd come with me, because I don't know where Take I'm going. Take Kurt along with you and anyone you feel useful. I've been told that the roads are not safe. Safe travels, dear cousin. And watch out for yourself. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. Usually when people say that, they don't mean it. So he does want something bad to happen to me. Yeah, right. I mean, do we? Yeah, we look sort of like we could be related. Okay. Let's go. I have so many things to do now. We look fancy people. But yeah, the level of detail in this game is just immaculate. I love it. I love it. And it's the type of architecture that I really like. So it makes me very happy. I like this. Do you have a moment? No. Thank you for coming. I know that you're very busy, but I need your help. Again. I'm listening, sir. This island is vast, and we only know a tiny part of it. As you know, your uncle has asked me to draw maps to facilitate the merchant's travels. Alas, I'm slightly too old to be roaming the paths, setting up camps here and there. So I'd appreciate Are you? If, as you travel, I don't know you mark you are. the places you deem to be safe on your map. Very well. I will take care of it, Professor. Excellent. 
I knew I could count on you. Come if I want to help one more him. Thing. He seems very sketchy. Do you sketchy. remember that gigantic creature that you defeated in Serene? Mm -hmm. Bringing a specimen to the city was obviously not a good idea. An accident was inevitable. But according to my sources, there are others of them on this island. And your uncle wishes to know more about them. I know that a scholar of the Alliance, Professor Serafedin, has also taken an interest in these creatures. I tried to contact him, but apparently he disappeared during an expedition to study them. Naturally, oh. I cannot ask you to run through the why. entire island looking for him, but if you can find any trace of him, his studies on these giant creatures could be immensely useful. Very well. If I find anything out, I'll let you know. The road to knowledge is long and difficult, but this is the price of wisdom, Desade. I don't like him. He's suspicious. So... And here we are back out in Orsi Square. Okay, we have so many things. Okay, it says something about my mouse, but I missed it. Meet the Vigilance Governor and ask about the Malachor. Um, where was Kurt? Did he just... is he gone? Press M to open up the local map. Yeah, that's usually a fairly obvious thing. I wanted to see... Very suspicious to everybody. Hello, hello. Um, no, let's find my party. I'm not sure. Party, party. That's the thing. I don't know where things are. No. Okay. Well, we'll just leave that for now. Um, what all do I have to do? Okay, well, maybe we'll do this, because it seems like, because these are 250, 300, okay, they're all like this way. Atoi! Can you help me? Burtir Tumas, Ono Menawi! Why are you dressed like this? Hello, I'm not one of your people. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation. A legate? Is that someone important? <laughs> Indeed. Why are you Italian? I'm in charge of diplomatic relationships or with something. other nations. So you'll be able to help me. My chief sent me to trade some items with your oh, village. Now we're but doing all kinds of accents. But there are these irony who do not want me to set up shop here. These what? Bod irony. The ironbacks. The warriors who protect this village. Every time I come... Just they watch. take I'm gonna my be one items of without giving me anything in exchange. Or something. Please, be like a Loki thing. I don't understand how things work here. Very well. Stay here. I'll try to clear this up. Adloredar on Olmenawi. May the earth always be sturdy under your footsteps. Thanks. Okay. 44 meters. Okay, so you're not actually in the city. Are you guys actually in the city? Ugh, oh, fine. Exploration. Tiffany is made of several regions connected to each other. As you explore, you will discover campsites. They allow you to rest and travel quickly. When you reach the end of a road, use the travel interface to select your next destination. There are also caravans near major cities for you to quickly travel from one city to another. Sorry about that. Apparently, I'm not actually awake yet. So, like this? Greetings. My caravan goes through all the cities, and the journey is safe. So, where would you like to go? Um... Travel? Okay, I don't know if either of those are... Thank you, but I'll continue on foot. 
yeah, I just, I don't know where I'm going, so I don't want to travel somewhere and then end up further away, because that would not end well. Let's go. Doop -doop -doop. Ooh, something to collect. Hawthorne. Okay. Please don't let me run into- Ooh, a chicken! A chicken! A chicken! Aha! Magnificent feather. That was quite- that's like a purple, pheasant grossy thing. I like it. It's very bright. Sorry, I'm gonna be like looting everything. Borage. Okay, borage is blue, hawthorn is red. What, you just- Oh, I see. I don't know where, where... Yeah. I think so? I think that's the one I'm wanting to do. Camp in the woods. Okay. During long journeys, you can stop at wandering merchant camps. So you can buy or sell items, manage your companions, access your chest, crafting table allows you to upgrade your equipment and create potions. To continue to the next area, continue down the path. Hmm. Okie doke. Hello. Oh, okay. I don't actually need that. Hey, can I just add you to my team? Uh, oh, no, I can only have. Whoa, okay. Sorry, Kurt. You gotta stay here. Okay. Ooh, I like this music. It changed. Ooh, there's a bear. That reminds me of the creature that Alice rides in. Whatever that would be, Alice. Maybe it's a bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! This is a lot easier now that I know how to sharp fang leather beast essence. Cool. Now that I know how to switch fighting types, it makes combat so much easier. And I actually remembered how to switch fighting types, which is the better part. Okay, we killed some bears things. Yeah, those remind me of that giant thing that Alice was riding. That kind of beasty thing. Uh, I don't know. more Hawthorne, I guess. Oh, there's a random lantern thing. Hello, what are you doing? Oops. I forget that there's like no jump. Okay, which way are you? That way. Shall we stick to the road or go cross country? Well, this is sort of a road, right? Ooh, this is a fun looking tree. I'm just, I'm in an exploratory mood. I don't know if we'll make it to... Oh, skill altar. One skill point. That's cool. Sorry if this is some sort of, like, burial thing and I'm now stealing your stuff. See, I'm, I'm because this is such a new thing, I want to do some exploring on the way to things. But that's cool, so I get a skill point. Because why not? It's a big, beautiful world. Like, look at this. It's such a vivid world. There's different types of plants. There's rocks. There's creatures to kill. Bit of poison on my blade. And let's go! Over okay, there, going. Cool. 
Wait. Oh, I found someone. Is this the dude I was looking for? Congre no, it's just a citizen. Okay. Okay. And up on the road anyways. Oh, there's a building here. Is there anything? No, just part of walls. Okay. Ooh, I like your beastie. It's cute. Look at it. It's like a buffalo goat thing with weird feet. But I like it. <laughs> Greetings! Do you want to travel without tiring yourself out? My caravan goes through all the cities. So, where should I he drop? He seems you? creepy, like some sort of murderer who's gonna murder me in his caravan that goes to all the cities. Thanks. <laughs> no but thanks. I'd rather walk. And I don't want to end up dead. At least the other ladies seem nice. You just seem creepy. Okie dokie. Where are we going? There's some more of those, but I think we'll try and leave them alone if we can. So we'll maybe detour this way. So we don't have to fight everybody. Yeah, see? I'm not gonna murder everything in sight. Oh, this thing is so beautiful. And look, look, at, look at that water. Oh, it's beautiful. Okay, where are we going? We're going there. Y yes. Wow. Look how it tells you how long it's gonna take you. And now it's night out. Oh yeah, okay, let's go... I like that that's how it loads the different areas, is it takes you to your camp and gives you an opportunity to do stuff. So I mean, technically I could have sold all the stuff that I got from my creatures that I killed. Look at that cute little goaty things! <laughs> Hello! Sorry, I don't need to do that. Oh, it's a warg! It totally looks like a warg. I might need an attack mode. Also, the thing he had was a carnivore, not a herbivore? I'm not gonna attack it. It has a red skull that looks like death. So let's maybe not do that. Halt! What's your destination, my lord? Just into town. I am an emissary of the congregation and I'm here to discuss matters with your governor. Why the checkpoint? We've got orders to verify all comings and goings. The roads are becoming dangerous. Do you have anything <laughs> particular to report? Nothing out of the ordinary. Well then. Good travels, my lord. Thank you. Bum ba dum ba dum. Bum ba dum ba dum. You have discovered outpost. Okie dokie. Um, I think you're down in this little hill here, by the way. Look at this grass. Look at it, it's so cute. Yes, it's in weird little stars, but it's cute. I set up bod or just something. No, those are feet, I think. That's scary. Keeping some bodies down there, but sure. But yeah, this world is so beautiful. I'm just gonna keep saying that. It's beautiful. Hicket, Hickman, Hinket. Oh, I'm supposed to find these. There we go. Okay, you've discovered a campsite. This location is now marked on your map. You can travel from here or be transported here directly from a travel interface. Here you can summon and manage your companions. You can use your chest as well as a workshop. You can rest and accelerate passage of time. Cool. I like that. It's a cool mechanic. Oh, look, a little windmill. Look, look at this. It's a gorgeous town. This reminds me of the towns in some of the Assassin's Creed games where they're just they're full of people, like there's people just doing things. There's like the there's a reason for having a town, like there's NPCs. Hey you the sheep. There's NPCs that live here, like she's feeding her sheep and her chickens. If 
That's a chicken. There's people working the fields. Like, this feels like a populated town. Oh. Halt! Your names, titles, and business at hand. Sir de Sardé, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier D. I have come to present my regards to your governor. Your papers seem to be in order. Welcome to Hikmet, Your Excellency. <laughs> Yo, you're cute. I like you guys. You're cute. Sorry, I have a bit of an obsession with animals. They're also cute. You'd know that if you came to my house and saw the zoo that's here. Come closer. Come closer. All my wares are in the back <laughs> Okay. So yeah, sorry, when there's a cutscene, I try not to talk over it, just because there's stuff going on and I should pay attention, and I feel like you guys would want to know what's going on. Okay. But yeah, like, look at this. There's people in the square. There's people milling around. Like, look at this. It's so cool. There's, like, buildings on top of buildings. We've got new and old. Look, there's even algae from the boat. They thought about that when the water level's up. calm if I see such a man. We rarely bow down on our ships. I hope I will not embarrass you. That's no, okay. I know I'm probably bringing the wrong two companions into here, but... Sorry! Hey, I saw this carpet before, but it was smaller. Interesting. You have much lighter wallpaper than the other palace. Alrighty. <laughs> Look how I just go through doors. But yeah, like the level of detail in these games is crazy. Your Excellence, it is an honor to meet you. Allow me to present my sincerest regards in the name of the Congregation of Merchants. And allow me to wish you and your cousin a warm welcome to the island, in the hopes that this visit will help prolong the profitable relations between our two nations. Likewise. Nevertheless, another question brings me. The Malachor. The Prince d'Orsay hopes that these new shores will bring us new possibilities. Even a uh -huh. remedy. It is an area that concerns us greatly, but be assured we are studying it acutely. Our doctors and alchemists are particularly interested in the flora of the isle. It's extremely varied and different from our own. In fact, we have sent a group of explorers into a very promising sector. Alas, we've had no news from them for quite some time now. We are hoping that nothing has happened. We would have sent a patrol to investigate, but we cruelly lack the means to do so. The natives have proven aggressive, even hostile to our studies, and have attacked us regularly. You ask the question why. You steal our lands, gouging the earth in sacred places, and now our people are disappearing. It's enough to drive one to unsheath a blade, do you not agree? Um... Siora, please, I understand how you feel, but this isn't the right time. <sighs> I am sorry. You are right. My apologies, Your Excellence. Continue, please. Hmm. Yes. As I was Hopefully saying, that's the we right are thing. obligated I to maintain to take all of our able-bodied men here in order to protect the city. To but we would be happy to share with you the results of our research if... Your Excellency... This insolent interruption is untimely and unwelcome. <laughs> I deeply regret, Excellency, but one of our frontier posts has just suffered a brutal attack. Report then and be precise. The natives attacked us by surprise. Our men were massacred. Our frontier post is lost. One more act of barbary. Dismissed, soldier. Uh, where was I? Yes. We would be most pleased to share our discoveries with our allies if your cousin would send us a party to help us find our lost expedition. I could show you to which region they were sent. I thank you for the information and will let him know. If you are of a mind to accord me another request, I would be truly grateful. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. As you have not failed to observe, our troops as well as our caravans have been suffering incessant attacks. 
The merchants, including your own, are raided, often killed, and certain goods have become scarce. Captain Rainhild, who commands our outpost in the plains, has communicated his incapacity to protect them. Considering that certain of your own fellow countrymen are involved, you would like me to lend a hand? I will see what I can do, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? Um... No, I'm I good. I have to go. Oh, Look forward to seeing many you Many things again. to do. I Farewell, get my lord. One more thing done before I end this episode. Cool. Well, this will be fun, because they're warring with the natives, but I don't... I feel like the natives would be more helpful to find a cure, maybe, so if I can get them working on that, make alliance with them, maybe I can stop all this fighting. That would be good, but we'll see. Oh, look at this cute town. Alright, um... I'm gonna go to that camp, and then I should be able to swift travel back, and then... Hopefully we can get one more thing done. No, you're scary. Yeah, look at this. It's so cool. It's such a pretty game. If you're into pretty games, this one would be definitely something to play. And even just, like, there's stuff floating in the air. Leaves. Okie doke, it said I should be able to travel from my camp here, so let's see... Q. Um... Yes. Can I travel from here? Does that mean that you want Green to talk to me? There's something I would like to talk to you about. Oh, okay. I'm listening. I recruited a young man for the guard a few months ago. Talented. Very talented. And honorable. I've been tracking his progress, and I learned that he's been sent to the barracks in New Serene. I would like you to meet him so that you can give me your opinion. My opinion? On what? Ever since our departure from Serene, I've spent nearly every second at your side. But I have clear standing orders to assure the protection of Constantine. And I don't know his guards. Not well, in any case. I see. You've been thinking this recruit might be a suitable personal guard? Precisely. And your opinion has weight. Aww. So then, That's nice. would you like to accompany me to meet him? Um, yeah, we can but do of that. Course. Why not? Let's go. <laughs> oh. Vasco, I'm gonna leave you here, okay? Sorry. Um, you have something to do too. Let's speak to you because I feel like we should. I have a favor to ask. Do Very well, I'm listening. Do you remember the story of Jonah? Of course. Well, I'm like him. A donation to the sea. My family also gave me to the Norths. I don't know anything about my real family, except that they are probably affluent and from the congregation. When I was born, the Norths and the merchant princes had a complex relationship. I must have been used to settle a debt or forge a truce, but that doesn't matter. The mystery of my origins has now become an obsession. I need Makes to sense. know where I come from. If I were patient enough, I'd wait to become a fleet commander, and then I would be told. But since being laid off, such a promotion seems somewhat improbable. And you want me to help you find this information? You understand correctly. The records of all seamen stationed on the island are in their respective ports. Mine must be in the harbor office in New Serene, and it must contain my family name. But if I go there, I'd be spotted right away. However, I get the impression that this may not be the right time for you. We'll talk about it again when you're less busy. Did you want anything else? I must leave you. Okay, I need to figure out how to travel because I'm not sure. Do I go this way? Do I go that way? 
No, okay, that's a wall. Okay, travelly. Um, really, I have to go all the way across here again. Okay, there were some creatures there last time, so let's make a detour again, just because I imagine yeah, they're still there. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna take up. Greetings! Oh, you're so creepy. Do you want to travel without tiring yourself out? My caravan goes through alive. all the cities. So, where should see, I drop? See, he didn't say it's safe. But to New Serene. We'll see. Let's go. If we end up dead, it's not my fault. I'm too trusting. <laughs> yeah, you're scary. You must be with the other recruits in the barracks. Okay. I had thought you a lone wolf with only our good friend in your pack. But I was mistaken. I am full of surprises, pretty she-wolf. Oh dear, they don't like each other. Maybe. Okay, barracks, 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 where? Uh, are you not on my map? Um... Questy, questy, questy. Side quests. Um, okay, where is it? Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Okay, there we go. <laughs> 20 meters. There we go. Okay. Ta da! Good day, soldiers. Your Excellency. Captain. Soldiers, may we be of service? Um, I'm looking for the soldier, Rayner. Is he in the barracks? I never heard that name before, Captain. Never heard the name, Captain. That's strange. I'm certain he was sent here. Maybe he's been moved since then. When was the last time you'd heard news of him? In Serene. Just before our departure. But that's been a couple of months. If I may, Captain, sh should I have a word with the quartermaster? That's right, Captain. He's been eating he has something. a register with the affectations of every recruit in the Blue Silver Regiment. Anything else, Excellency? What is your charge? Maintain order in the city, Excellency. Anything else, Excellency? No. That will be that's all. That's cool. At ease, soldiers. Well, I'll be damned, it's Captain Kurt. Manfred! <laughs> Still a quartermaster? <laughs> that Always, sounds like Captain Kurt. As you can see. What can I do for you? <laughs> We've come we'll to find quick. you regarding the merchandise that Kurt was taking care of. Ah, the commander's cargo, yes. I was told that had come in. And so he's got you working on this. Lucky Kurt. It helps to have friends in high places. Is everything in order? Alas, no. Our merchandise has been unloaded into one of those dock storehouses. They're well guarded. A little less at night, but in spite of that, we weren't able to get them back. Since these crates are registered in the ship's manifest, make an official request. The modification of the manifest might have fooled a quartermaster, but it won't fool the port authority. We'd have too many details to explain to them, and our commander would not like that. What? Is he waiting for us to bring them to him, then? No, of course not. But Kurt needs to find the right storehouse, as well as a discreet way to get in. And he must also mark the crates that belong to us. Why is that? 
They're already marked with an inscription. Most of the men are illiterate. A colored mark will stick out for them to find, but they need to be quick about it. They won't have the time to decipher a name. I see. Well, let's see what we're able to do. Is there anything else? Uh, yes. I've been looking for quick. one of my recruits. Goes by the name of Rainer. I would like for His Excellency to meet him. Rainer? I'm sorry, Kurt. I thought you'd been informed. Informed about what? He is dead. He was found, drowned in the port harbor day before yesterday. Ooh. I was told he had too much to drink and fell in. I'm extremely sorry, Kurt. The young men it's drink more than they can the handle when they're on leave. Name. That's bollocks. That lad isn't the sort to sully himself with drink. I don't believe it. People change. When they're far from home, the lads have little else to do. I still don't believe it. Listen, you might as well go and ask the doctor down in the morgue. I might have misunderstood what was reported to me. Those doctors use such long words for simple things. Excellent idea. <laughs> At least now you'll see it for yourself. You're right. Let's go. Is there anything else? That should be it. Um, oh. I met an islander in the streets who was complaining to me about the guard's behavior. Really? It would seem that patrols have confiscated the goods he was hoping to sell several times. Oh, I see. Indeed, I've been told about this man. The problem, Your Excellency, is that our orders are strict. Merchants who do not have a patent ratified by the minister cannot sell their goods in the street. And since your islander doesn't have one, I doubt he even knows what it is, my men have no choice but to confiscate his knickknacks. I see. Thanks for clarifying that. I'll talk to the minister. Is there anything else? No, that should be it. No, thank you. Alright, and with that, I think we're going to end... Oh, you have a flaming sword too? I didn't notice that. Wow, look at him. He's just stuck walking eternally into a door. Anyways, I think that's going to end this episode. So thank you very much for joining me, and I hope to see you next time. Have a great rest of your day. Goodbye.